Hello, and welcome back to the Southern Bible Thumper channel. For this upload, we will be reading Exodus chapter 30. And thou shalt make an altar to burn incense upon. Of Shittim wood shalt thou make it. A cubit shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof. Four square shall it be, and two cubits shall be the height thereof. Of the horns thereof shall be of the same. And thou shalt overlay it with pure gold, the top thereof, and the sides thereof round about, and the horns thereof. And thou shalt make unto it a crown of gold round about. And two golden rings shalt thou make to it under the crown of it, by the two corners thereof, upon the two sides of it shalt thou make it, and they shall be for places for the staves to bear it withal. And thou shalt make the staves of shittim wood, and overlay them with gold. And thou shalt put it before the veil that is by the ark of the testimony, before the mercy seat that is over the testimony, where I will meet with thee. And Aaron shall burn thereon sweet incense every morning. When he distresseth the lamps, he shall burn incense upon it. And when Aaron lighteth the lamps at even, he shall burn incense upon it, a perpetual incense before the Lord throughout your generations. Ye shall offer no strange incense thereon, nor burnt sacrifice, nor meat offering, neither shall ye pour drink offering thereon. And Aaron shall make an atonement upon the horns of it once in a year with the blood of the sin offering of atonements. Once in the year shall he make atonement upon it throughout your generations. It is most holy unto the Lord. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, When thou takest the sum of the children of Israel after their number, then shall they give every man a ransom for his soul unto the Lord. When thou numerest them, that there be no plague among them, when thou numerest them, or numberest them, numberest them, this they shall give, every one that passeth among them that are numbered, half a shekel after the shekel of the sanctuary. A shekel is twenty geras, and half shekel shall be the offering of the Lord. Every one that passeth among them that are numbered, from twenty years old and above, shall give an offering unto the Lord. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than half a shekel. When they give an offering unto the Lord to make an atonement for your souls, and thou shalt take the atonement money of the children of Israel, and shalt appoint it for the service of the tabernacle of the congregation, that it may be a memorial unto the children of Israel before the Lord, to make an atonement for your souls. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Thou shalt also make a lever of brass, and his foot also of brass, to wash withal, and thou shalt put it between the tabernacle of the congregation and the altar, and thou shalt put water therein. For Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet thereat. When they go into the tabernacle of the congregation, they shall wash with water, that they die not, or when they come near to the altar to minister, to burn offering made by fire unto the Lord. So they shall wash their hands and their feet, that they die not, and it shall be a statute for ever to them, even to him and to his seed throughout, throughout their generations. Moreover, the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take thou also unto thee principal spices of pure myrrh, five hundred shekels, and of sweet cinnamon, half so much, even two hundred and fifty shekels, and of sweet calamus, two hundred and fifty shekels, and of cassia, five hundred shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, and of oil, olive, and hen. And thou shalt make it an oil of holy ointment, an ointment compound after the art of the apothecary. It shall be an holy anointing oil. And thou shalt anoint the tabernacle of the congregation therewith, and the ark of the testimony, and the table, and all his vessels, and the candlestick in his vessels, and the altar of incense, and the altar of burnt offering with all his vessels, and the laver in his foot. And thou shalt sanctify them, that they may be most holy. Whatsoever toucheth them shall be holy. And thou shalt anoint Aaron and his sons, and consecrate them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. And thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, This shall be an holy anointing oil unto me throughout your generations. Upon man's flesh shall it be 
shall it not be poured, neither shall ye make any other like it. After the composition of it, it is holy, and it shall be holy unto you. Whatsoever compoundeth any like it, or whatsoever putteth any of it upon a stranger, shall even be cut off from his people. And the Lord said to Moses, Take unto thee sweet spices, stash, and onica, and galbanum, these sweet spices with pure frankincense, of each shall there be a like weight. And thou shalt make it a perfume, a confection, after the art of the apothecary, apothecary, timber together, pure and holy. And thou shalt beat some of it very small, and put of it before the testimony in the tabernacle of the congregation, where I will meet with thee, it shall be unto you most holy. And as for the perfume which thou shalt make, ye shall not make to yourselves according to the composition thereof. It shall be unto thee holy for the Lord. Whosoever shall make like unto that to smell thereto shall even be cut off from his people. Summarizing chapter 30. God is still giving Moses instructions. He tells Moses, make an altar out of acacia wood. It's shittim wood in the King James Version. But I've been writing down in my notes acacia wood. So make an altar out of acacia wood for incense. Gives Moses his specific measurements. An overlay with pure gold. Make gold. Make gold rings for poles to go through. The pole should made of this be made of the same wood, arcasia wood, and have them, you know, make them with a gold overlay, put it before the tabernacle veil. God says that he will meet the Israelites there. Every time Aaron dresses the lamps, he shall burn incense in the morning and evening, which should become a generational tradition. Aaron shall make the horn atonement, which is, uh, was mentioned in, uh, chapter 29 of smearing the bull blood on the horns of the tabernacle. This should become a generational tradition. Verse 12, during the Israelite census, an Israelite census should be taken every year. And every man after age 20 should give a ransom for his life when counted, and no plague will befall them. Ransom is defined as a consideration paid for release, a deliver from sin or penalty, or freedom from captivity by paying a price. Verse 13, the ransom is half a shekel, and the shekel is a piece of silver. And when this is given to the priest, this is considered paid to the Lord. No Israelite is required to give more or less. This is to be paid to the care of the tab tabernacle in chapter 30, verse 16. So this is the first time that religious officials are being mentioned as, as God is speaking and saying, give this specific amount of money to a religious official is in Exodus chapter 30. This is the first time God is mentioning that give a specific amount for a group of people and it's half a shekel and it doesn't change depending on who has more or less money give the same amount and consider it payments to god verse 18 god tells moses make a bronze basin fill it with water and place it between the tabernacle and the altar aaron and his sons must wash their hands and feet there when they go into the tent or to minister this is so they won't die, and this should become a generational tradition. God tells Moses to collect olive oil and spices and the dollar amount to make a fragrant holy oil amongst, to make a fragrant holy oil. Anoint the tabernacle and the ark of the testimony and all of the vessels, including the table, the altar, the wash bin, Afterwards, everything that is anointed will be holy, and everything that touches these holy things will become holy. God tells Moses to anoint Aaron and his sons as God's priests. The oil should become a traditional tradition. 
The oil should become a generational tradition as well. God instructs Moses to not use this oil for ordinary people. Don't make this one for yourself because it's holy. Anyone who uses this specific blend in a way that God did not authorize will be cut off from his people. Verse 34, God requested that Moses take some specific spices to make an incense. The King James Version refers to this as a perfume, but some other um translations refers to chapter 30 verse 34 as incense incense or perfume something about a nice scent moses is supposed to make this when it's supposed to be for the um, tabernacle Highlights from Exodus chapter 30. Verse 1 through verse 9 is dedicated to constructing and maintaining the altar. Verse 10 mentions Aaron continuing the bull atonement tradition commanded in Exodus chapter 29 verse 10. Verse 12, God instructs Moses to take a census of the Israelite population and then require them to pay money. This payment serves several functions. In verse 12 and verse 13 and 14, this payment from the Israelites serves the function of paying a ransom for their lives for people aged 20 and older. This payment serves that they this payment ensures that um, this payment ensures that they don't get plagues. They are not affected by any plagues. This payment ensures in verse 13, this is an offering or a contribution to the Lord. And this payment also serves as maintenance and upkeep of the tabernacle. Also for atonement for their souls, for their sins. An atonement means reparation for offense or injury. Reparation also means reconciliation. God required a specific amount that was required of everyone, regardless of wealth or status. God did not need more. He just asked for a contribution from everyone. This is the first mention of God speaking and requesting payment of money to ensure the upkeep of a holy structure. And the rest of this chapter is the code of conduct. I appreciate you watching up until this point. The next upload will be Exodus chapter 31.